Hey, what's going on, folks? Clutch here. Welcome back to Lake Land County. Oh, it's not even Lake Land County. It's Lake Land Vale, but you know what I mean. Guys, we've been using the 9 9620RX for the last little bit. It's been on loan since our 8400 has been in the shop. It's done. It's ready to go uh, back to the shop. And uh, our 8400 with the duels is set and ready to rock. They figured out what the problem was with that charging system. So, uh, yeah, we can go pick that thing back on up and bring it back out to the farm. We still have one of the 8400s right there. There it is. That's the smaller 8400 with just the singles on it. Well, the duels is over in the shop. We're going to go pick that up today. Let's take the uh, 9RX back. You know what? I'd love to keep this thing. It is a fantastic tractor, but we uh, unfortunately can't really afford it. Um, it we're, I mean, we're doing fine, but let's be perfectly honest. We can't afford this thing. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a pretty penny, that's for sure. So I've got uh, our truck right behind us. We're going to load this thing up in a sec here. Get her over to the shop, and uh, we'll see what else the day holds us. I, like I said, I want to get down to the beach. We're going to get some ice cream in us, I think. It's a nice day, kind of. It's going to be raining, it looks like, this afternoon, but hopefully uh, we can kind of get down there for a little bit, at least before the rain comes. I mean, you can see the clouds kind of getting overcast. We'll see. So let's get this thing taken care of. Uh, I got some equipment to clean up a little bit here, and then maybe we can get out down to the beach, folks. Let's do this thing. Pitter-patter. Clutch simulations. 9RX warming up. Oh, man. This is a fantastic tractor. The only thing this one's missing is a three-point hitch. That'd be one thing uh, I would definitely want if I were to pick up a 9RX. We need to have a three-point hitch in the back, and this one does not have one, which is a bit of an issue, but that's okay. Top one up. All right. Good to go. Put her in gear. And let's go. Yeah, so for some reason, this one did not come with the, uh, the three-point hitch. But, I mean, I think if I were to purchase one... I would definitely have the three-point hitch put on it. There'd be no question about that. Three-point hitch is pretty useful for most things. I mean, you've always got the ball hitch, of course, but having a three-point hitch is almost a must-have for most of the stuff I do, I find. Just a, a personal preference there. All right, now we do have... This one is a bit wide, so you really got to make sure you align this thing up just right in order to get it up there. And nice and slow. Up we go. Come on, get up there. Those back tracks are getting stuck a little bit. I think they'll ride up, won't they? Oh yeah, no problem. There we go. So just make sure we don't uh, slide off the deck here. That's all. I want to make sure we stay on it a little bit. But that's the problem when you got these wider tracks on here, guys. It's uh, it's a bit of a struggle. Perfect. All right, let's strap this down. It's only a quick jaunt down to the uh, down to the shop, at least. But I mean, <laughs> it wouldn't take much for this thing to slide off the edge. But I mean, I am the best driver in farm sim, so I think we'll be okay. I'm sh I'm sure we'll be okay, right? All right, let's hop in the truck. Let's get this thing strapped down. I'll grab the straps out of the inside. We'll strap it down and head to the shop. Watch out, chickens. Get out of the way. We don't got time for you. Let's get going. Nice. I saw there was a couple of uh, boxes of eggs that have actually been spawning in here. We need to uh, take care of that at some point. All right. Down the road we go. All the way back to the shop. Oh, man, we had to load shift a touch. Look at that. You can see that one track almost fell off. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> oh, hold on tight. I guess I didn't get the straps tight enough. I'm sure it'll be fine. All right, so let's pull on in. There we go. There's the 8400 right there. I can see it right in front of us. Let's uh, spin this around. Got a lot more equipment down here than the last time I was here, actually. Look at all the tractors. Uh-oh. Um... Pull it around nice and easy. I don't really feel like having this thing fall off worse than it already has. <laughs> Looks like they got a little more stock down here. Uh, there's definitely a few more tractors. Look at that. Quite a few more things in here. All right, let's back this on up. Let's see if we can just kind of put it up beside our 8400 there. That looks perfect. Oh, oh, easy, easy. <laughs> All right, we'll stop right there. Um, I'm worried. It kind of slipped off. Cool. All right, guys. I'm going to go in and talk uh, with the shop here and see what they got me. We'll have to unload this thing. It's going to be a little awkward to get that off the deck, but oh well. That's fine. All right, guys. It actually doesn't look like we're going to be done quite yet today. Um, I know I said I was going to stop for the day and take a break. Uh, we might have got a job instead. Well, you know what? The owner is looking to get some work done on one of his fields. Unfortunately, he doesn't have time. He got all this new equipment in. And uh, a bunch of new tractors up front. Got a bunch of new stuff inside the showroom there. He's got a bunch of uh, delivery intakes to take. So uh, he's looking for someone to do some planting for him. And get it done and over with today. 
Now, the field that he wants us to get done is absolutely massive. In fact, he's, he's kind of the, the big shot, the county here. In fact, it's just, well, it's done by the windmill we were working at the other day. And uh, you know what? He says he wants me to take some of the new equipment and run it through its paces anyways. Now, I offered to do it, but he wants me to take well, this here, the cedar, which I don't even know what the size of this thing is. This thing is massive. Look at the size of it. Yeah, so we got this, and he's got the seed hawk behind it, the seed wagon. Uh, this is what I need. he wants me to try and go and test out. Now, I offered to go use the 8400 <laughs> right there. Uh, I don't think that's going to be enough horsepower. Just looking at everything now, there's no way my 450 horse, a lot of horsepower we got this 8400 is going to pull that. There's absolutely no way. So, you know what? I'm going to have to see if I can borrow his 9RX again. That's okay. We'll borrow the 9RX one more time, and we'll use that. But um, I don't think I've ever driven or planted with anything this big before. Well, we'll find out, I guess. He wants us to test it out. That's good to go. All right, let me go grab the keys for his RX again. There's no way our 8400 is pulling that, though. That thing is way too big. Way too big. I mean, <laughs> come on. All right, 9RX is a go once again. Oh, yes. Let's see if we can hook this thing on up. All right, so we need to pick up the planter first and then the seed trailer, I think. Yeah, that'll work best. Now, we do need to go quite a distance. Oh, man. It's, hopefully, there's not much traffic out this morning. We're, it's going to be a bit of a pain if there's uh, much for traffic out there. Let's see if I can get in here. Nice and close. Oh, oh, don't hit that. All right, so we should be able to hook that up. Now, look at this little one right here. I do like this. Now, this would be perfect. I should get my hands on this for our farm. This one is just like the perfect size. I like that. That's not bad. It's better than the Vatterstad stuff, I think, that we got. Let me hook this up. And we'll pull it on out. And now we got to hook back up to that seed trailer. Oh, man, that's a that's a tough one. I can't see nothing back there. You just got to... I guess we got to shoot through the middle. <laughs> oh, good luck. Oh, man. All right, nice and easy, nice and easy. We'll just kind of back it on up. There we go. It looks like we're somewhat lined up. Let's stop right on there. Let's see. How close are we? Are we close enough we can throw that pin in? Oh, man. Perfect. Like a glove. Just checking our tanks. They are both empty right now. So there's a fertilizer tank up front. Our seed tanks in the back. Everything is uh, currently empty. So we're going to have to get some fertilizer and seed in this thing before we go anywhere. But that should be okay. I think he said he's got that solution taken care of for us. So uh, we'll just get this thing loaded up. And hit the fields. Oh, this should be interesting. This is cool. Well, this isn't what I thought he meant by he's got seed. I thought he meant he had like a silo or a dump truck or something to load this thing in. Um, this is ridiculous. <laughs> I've been doing like 40 trips here of seed bags. Just trying to get this thing loaded up. And, uh, we're, I mean, we're almost there. We got one more bag left. He says he's got it counted out, so it should be full right to the brim by the time we get this done. But yeah, seed and fertilizer. This is a lot. That's a big tank, guys. That thing's a massive tank. That's like a 40,000 liter tank we're filling right now. This is ridiculous. Uh, I mean, that's a lot. A lot of seed. And uh, he wanted it filled right up. So, well, whatever. We'll use the fl forklift. Fill this tank up for him, at least. Put all that seed going in there. Ah, what a pain. <laughs> I mean, who does that? Anyways, whatever. We'll get that thing taken care of. Uh, but I was not expecting to have to do that. I thought for sure he'd have at least a silo or maybe just a dump truck with a bunch of seed we could kind of fill from someplace. But uh, apparently this is the way he's always done things. I don't know why. This seems like a lot of work. All right. Last one. And uh, yeah, we should be able to hook up, guys. Look at how much, like, look how much space this thing's taken up. It's like the whole parking lot. I'm blocked off in here. I had one customer come in. He couldn't figure out how to get around me to get into the shop. So he just kind of turned around and left. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, bud. All right. Last pallet. I think we should be good to go after this. I'll go put this forklift away. But, man, like, look at the size of this. That is ridiculous. Man. Full of seed, full of fertilizer. We are good to go. All right. Nice and easy. Out of the parking lot. Let's get our beacon on. That one little beacon. That's not much, but uh, it's going to have to do. Get our hazards on as well. If you miss this, mind you, if someone doesn't see us coming down the road, they've got another thing coming. Let's be perfectly honest here. Look at the size of this. This thing is a behemoth. <laughs> oh, yes. All right, let's go. Oh, man. All right, we got to go turn left down the alley here and then down towards 
the windmill? Is this it? I think this is it. I remember last time we were planting with the 9RX and I was saying that uh, they didn't even notice that that little batter stab we had was behind it. Like, it didn't even know it was there. Um, it, it definitely knows this is behind it. I mean, even on flat ground where we can feel the 9RX here just struggling to get any traction. It's just fighting. Oh, here's the field. I want it right here. All right, let's do a quick drive-by. So this is the field we're going to be doing. I mean, it's a good size. You can see all the way to the far side. It is one of the biggest fields, I think, out in the county. What do we got over on this side here? Bunch of weeds? No, this is definitely his. Right here. He's got it said it was tilled up, so it's ready to go. But, uh, man. I don't know if it's going to be... It shouldn't take us too long with this setup. I mean, I can't even remember what the width of this is off the top of my head. He did tell me when we were looking at it. But I don't think this is going to take us that long. We should still get some time to get down to the beach. Get our ice cream in us. Maybe some brown water. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Now, if I can figure out a good way to get into this field, that's going to be the next little little doohickey here. How do we get into this field? Must be up ahead. All right, we found the path. All right, let's see if we can get this in. Oh, this is going to be an awkward little cut in. Nice and easy, nice and easy, nice and easy. Oh, man, it's so big. It is absolutely giant. All right. Onward ho. It's funny, the whole section right here, he could take this if he wanted to as well. But that's all right. We'll get this done for him. Since he just wants wheat in the field, that's an easy plant for us. So, perfect. All right. Let's see if I can get this thing lined up first. We'll open this on up. So we'll see how she opens up here. Make sure all the latches are undone. That one comes down. That looks cool. All right. Looks like it's good. This one should now fold. And it should pull the cart up with us. Oh, it's pulling the tractor back. Oh, man. That cart must be pretty heavy. Locked in. Let's go take a quick look and make sure everything's locked in place. Yeah, it looks like it's all good. I'll jump around on the back side of this. Yeah, everything's hooked up. Our hoses look like they have survived that little maneuver. Everything's still connected. I think we are good to go, folks. I think we're good to we're good to go for sure. Oh man! All right, let's go turn these lights off. We don't need these hazards on. We don't need that beacon on anymore. <laughs> yes. Um. Yeah, this is uh, this is something. Definitely something. <laughs> let's get going. Hop on back up the stairs. Get our hazards off. Beacons off. And away we go. Oh, man. Can we lower this down? Cool. That's working. Excellent. I think we're good. Let's go. Nice and slow and easy. Drop that down right there. And we'll just kind of spin her into the field nice and slow. See if I can gauge this. But this is going to be a tough one to gauge. Now, I wish I would have figured out how to use the GPS on this unit beforehand. We don't got GPS. We're just going to be doing this by eyeball. Um, all right. She's struggling, though. Holy. Getting us up to speed is not easy. Like, we're just holding. Oh, we're getting there now. But, I mean, we had the hammer down there for quite a while. And right now, was we're finally just getting up to speed, guys. It took us a little second. It took us a hot minute to get going there. But I think everything is now running as it should. Oh, yeah, we're even the 9RX at 670 horsepower is struggling a little bit up this hill. We were down to 8 miles an hour when we could hold probably, what, 9 to 12, 11? Look at that. Yeah, we could hold a lot more than that if we want to. But she's even struggling trying to climb that little bit of a hill. That is ridiculous. That's actually kind of amazing that it uh, it's going to give us that much grief, even with this tractor. This thing should have no problems, but man, that's a heavy, that's a heavy, heavy planter. We're just down at the far corner here, guys. Down by that windmill we were working on the other day. And <laughs> the 9R is struggling. The RX is just struggling up here. Look at this. Three miles an hour. Just pulling. Come on. Get up there. You know when you've got seven, or 670 horsepower. It might as well be 700 horsepower. Struggling right now to climb a hill. This is something serious. Definitely. <laughs> I mean, this is not even that steep. Like, that's not that steep of a hill. It's definitely a hill. Like, you'll, you'll definitely notice that, but um, it's not the biggest hill in the world. <laughs> well, all right. We made it. I think that's the steepest we're going to face. Uh, when we get back to the far side there, there's going to be a bit of a hill that kind of goes left to right, but it's not going to be anything crazy. It's 
it's almost like a bit of a gully through the middle of this field. So it, it's almost like a, I feel like we're going to be kind of doing like a half pipe almost as we get going into the middle of this. So I'm just going to finish off this headland and then uh, we'll wrap around. And maybe from there we'll, we'll accordion. We'll see. We'll see how, what we decide to do. But uh, I think that might be easier. I don't know if I can. Oh, maybe I think we, we might just stay with the headland. I don't know. It's going to be tough to pull this right around into a, a proper 180 with this much. It could be a give us a, it could give us a bit of grief. We'll see how it works out though. Definitely a little bit of a struggle, but not really too bad. I mean, we're doing eight or nine miles an hour the whole way up the hill, and we're just coming up well to the end here in a little bit. I can't quite see where who our path is where we started off. It was right in the corner there though, and then we'll head back and around. So that's one completed headland. That's not bad. You know what? I think I'm gonna keep on doing headlands and keep on going around in circles rather than trying to do switchbacks. I think that's going to be easier. <laughs> I don't know. It might be. All right. So right here, let's crank this on over, flip this up. That's better. The problem right here is, do I want to back? Like we, we could back up, but I mean, it's such a pain to try to back up. Oh man. See like, look how far over I am. So let's see if I can flip this around. We're all lifted up, leave it running and then we'll spin it around. I think that's the easiest way of doing it with something this big. You get a little bit of a, a space to spin around on, and then you can line everything up properly. Otherwise, it's just a big mess. Yeah, there we go. That'll be better. All right, and then when we get lined up, we just drop our head back down. And we're planting again. Nice. Okay, that's not bad. That'll work. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Awesome. All right, guys, let's keep on blind away. See if we can get this field done before it starts to rain. Well, that's pretty much it. We've got one more pass left to do, it looks like. Give or take, roughly one more pass at least. Looking pretty good. Not a bad setup. Now, I hate to say this, but I think I might actually, if I were ever to purchase something like this, I would probably try to find something with more horsepower than the 9RX. <laughs> Is that possible? Um, there's not too many tractors out there. That's pretty limiting as far as what we have available for that, guys. I don't know, maybe a big, a big bud. Uh, what else? What else would you go with? There's not much out there that goes above that to get above that 670 horsepower. But I mean, look at right now, six miles an hour, we're struggling. <laughs> it's unbelievable how heavy everything is. Uh, we've used roughly half of our seed, a little less than a third of our uh, our fertilizer to get this to this point. But um, I'm just really surprised at some of the struggles we've had on these hills. Now, mind you, I think this is a pretty, it's a pretty hilly field for a field of this size there's not too many fields you're gonna find that are this this hilly i think this is kind of an oddity in that sense but guys i'm still i'm, I'm surprised we're struggling as much as we are lift this bad boy on up looks good all right spin this thing around one more time here might be a little bit on the way back as well we got lots of seed in here i'm not worried about that at least but it's gonna be a tough fill yeah i don't think we're gonna get it all just want to make sure we get it all on the same side at least which i'm not doing at all there we go <laughs> all right there we go all the way back down so we'll come back down one more time it looks like i thought it'd be only one but it's two that's okay everything else is looking good not a bad setup at all i mean to have enough seed even to do a field this size is always nice and when you got that uh, that seed trailer we got more than enough to continue on for another couple hours if we needed to but you know what? I think we're going to get time to get down to the beach, guys. I think we're looking pretty good. So that's really going to do it for us today, guys. If you are looking for the Bourgeot DLC package, of course, you can find it down in the link below. In the description below, you're going to find a link for that. You guys can click on that. It's $7.99 US. You can go download this pack right here, right now. It is available. 
It should be available on console as well. So uh, yeah, by the time this video releases, it should be available for everybody if you're on PC. It is available at time of recording. So go out and download it right now. Go give it a shot. It's actually really great. It's fantastic. I mean, you're getting seven pieces of, of equipment plus a brand new tractor, the 9RX. Yeah, go give it a shot. It's worth it. Definitely worth it. All right, last pass for grass. Let's go. Spin her around. Sweetness. But anyways, that's going to do it for us here on Lakeland Vale. Hope you guys enjoyed today's uh, episode here. If you did, you guys know what to do. Drop that like. Give it a big old slap. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will catch you next time. This is Clutch. Over and out.